predictions of a great grand final had been realised beyond the wildest expectations. 20-year-old replacement Steve Jackson had scored the winning try, purely on heart, refusing to give way to the brick wall. Box office movies had been hits with far inferior scripts. It's all over! Referee Bill Harrigan throws full time. The Raiders have done the impossible. The Canberra Raiders have won the Winfield Cup. Then we were treated to a kaleidoscope of human emotions. The winning skipper. The Cup winner. This is the greatest thing that's ever happened to any football. Mal, unbelievable. Mal's opposite, Wayne Pierce, was a world away in bitter disappointment. So were teammates, Grant, Jack, Neil, and a Tiger Cup. Well, the Balmain supporters can't believe this. For them, a silent withdrawal. For the Raiders, after eight years in the Premiership, it was the beginning of football's best coming out party. The lap of honour was full of the best things sport has to offer. The perfect ending to a footballer's career. Dean Lance, hugging father and brother, called it quits. That's why I had to finish and uh, I'll reach the top of the mountain, sir. I'll reach it. Other stories surfaced. Ricky Stewart had played a wonderful game in borrowed boots of former rugby international teammate David Campisi. I lost my boots during the week and uh, I rang up camp during the week and I said, uh, I want to wear those boots you wore last week and you'll win the grand final. Girlfriends, wives, sons and daughters shared in the moment. The Raiders were building up steam for the Canberra homecoming. For the Tigers, it wouldn't be nearly as good. Raiders, 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 Raiders. The Canberra airport terminal was packed to the rafters as the two World War II DC-3s brought home the Warriors. Mal Meninga led the team in running the well-meaning gauntlet. Next, the bus trip to the Leagues Club. And once there, thousands had boarded their tonsils long enough to be in a war mode. The Green Machine were now playing as hard as they did only hours earlier on the field. And by morning, weren't feeling a thing. The team then put on their best sunnies for the civic reception. For kilometres, the Canberra people lined the streets and showed their appreciation. If a vote had been taken Monday, the Green Machine would be sitting in Parliament. In the ACT, at least, they were the power. Canberra supporter will tell you their blood's green. Now we know why. It's because of the water. In the city mall, thousands gathered for the conquering heroes. Mal Meninga carried the trophy, now slightly damaged, after being dropped off the back of a car. You can't really think about uh, the effort and time put to the end. It's just tremendous that uh, the grand final is, is number one. And, uh, we're the best team in the world, basically. On that score, you weren't going to get an argument. By now, the lads were talking. Everybody had a bit to say. But probably teenage centre Laurie Daly said it the best. Let's have a party!